Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, first round match. Live this one is between Zahu and Moomin Slayer. In the booth with me is Dimmy the Champ G, hello. Oh, you never told me it was Ogres. Oh, it's, it's not, not Ogres. Ogres. It's not Ogres. It's What's Moomin Slayer, Slayer with Norse. Moomin Slayer's got Norse. Zahu. Norse versus Woodies. Funny story about Norse versus Woodies. Uh, mm. I beat Rick's Woodies with Norse. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious story. <laughs> That's almost as funny as the Swarm Lord to me. Oh, and we've got a Dakar as well. Oh man, mm. dinner's getting later and later. <laughs> <laughs> the Dakar's fast, isn't it? The Dakar is fast. This is good. Yeah. Love to see a Dakar. The I mean, Dakar. that's the only way the Woodies lose, right? If they get banged on and mm. if the Norse can't bang on them. Yeah, both 11 man teams. We've got two journeymen for the Elves. And oh, let's a, have a look at that dance. Oh, so we've got Adji, Tackle, Strip, Sidestep, and Sure Hands on a dance. Well, what else are you going to take? Wrestle? Uh, yeah, maybe wrestle. Mm. Kfo likes a wrestle dancer. Yeah. Sure Dance. Hands is a bit of a weird one. Yeah, but he's yeah because he is the sacker and the recover though. But so maybe that's it because he's the sacker and the recovery just does everything on in one turn, right? Moomin Slayer of... demonstrating that he's seen a Daka before. Yep, yep, we're going for the, uh, the five across. Strength on the outside, Moomin. Strength on the outside. All Furners on the outside. Yep, 100% strength on the outside is what you want. Because that's the way they're going to go, straight down that sideline. Mm. The um, Woody's got a wizard by any chance, or is it? No, no, the Woody's have got an apothecary. Extra apothecary, that's all they've got. Ah, uh, pixel hugger. Right, yeah. I see. Uh, got a lot of tackle, though, hasn't he? He's got five tackle Yeah, players. see, that tackle, that tackle pommer should be behind the dirty player and the runner should be behind the off runner. And the off runner should be on the flank and the lineman should be in the middle, in yep. my opinion. Yep, yeah. correct. And that correct. tackle should be behind the dirty player and yes, the dirty yeah, player should be in front. Be yeah. 100% because you could just blitz this now and then kind of bang him out and like, okay, he's got next turn to fix it because they're probably not going to blitz and they haven't blitzed. But next turn when he gets a bit closer, yeah, he definitely wants to move the, definitely wants to move the uh, dirty player in front. And that's the thing, when you, when you embrace the Dakar and you start using it yourself, mm. you start to see how to defend the Dakar. So it's like to become the Dakar <laughs> or to master the Dakar, you have to become the Dakar. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Good day, Cocky. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow, he's just he's offering up as a sacrifice. I do not like that at all. He's a, he's a little bit deep. I do not like that. I do not you like that um, at all. Remember Ollie's Dakar against, uh, was it Diomed? Necro? Like, he went this far deep. I don't like going this far deep, but then... No, I don't. But then he might get away with it because it doesn't look like Moomin's going that far forward either. No, he just moved it, just moved a little bit forward. Okay, so now we're we're, we're now live. Oh, so he is going forward. It is temp. The, the thing is, this is tempting to go forward and bang this tackler. But also, I would be tempted just to wait another turn as well. But like this Mate, is so cool being able to bang him. Foul him with a loner as well. Well, he can. He can. He doesn't even have to foul him, right? He can just bang him into like this hole, and then he's totally stranded. Like that's incredible. One, two, three, four, five, six, like seven, and, and put him in there, and he'll be surrounded. Oh, he's not doing it. But uh, I really, I really like blitzing him into this section. And he's not doing it because now he'd be basing the ball carrier. Bases balls. Have you ever had your balls based in? Oh, more times than I'd like to admit. <laughs> But I play a lot of rugby gym, so your balls get based quite a lot in that sport. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Normally in the shower after the game, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to blitz with wrestle, maybe? <laughs> What's happened there? I don't know. Oh, he's, he's going to blitz him in the. Uh, okay. Blitz him with wrestle, maybe. How is it? Oh, this is live. Oh, my God, Jim. No. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, why is it taking so long? <laughs> it's fucking live, you monster. <laughs> That's why it was a hit, Jim. 
Oh my god. I said that they were playing at 8. I wouldn't just have a break for 20 minutes for no reason. Absolute savage. <laughs> you, just, you know, you're not being held to ransom, are you? You know that, dude, if you want to fuck off. I'm going to have to uh, message Hancock and then <laughs> call in another fight. I owe him a pack of socks and <laughs> now I'm going to owe him another couple of hours as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. So there you go. Amazingly, this sacrificing his his tackle of work, but you know I much prefer coming in from here, hitting him into a big like surrounded by everyone. I think it was kind of crazy he didn't do that because then even on a push, like if you were surrounded by everybody, you'd be like, well, do I go in or do it? And if he goes in, maybe you get a route pass. So I think that's what Zahu should have done. I guess the thing about the the Ulfs and not putting on the sidelines is because they've got the frenzy, isn't it? So now, if he goes for the sideline guy, the, the Ulfs yeah, are there for can, strength or uh, frenzy. So actually, this is maybe pretty decent having the uh, Ulfs there. T B H. Well, I feel like forcing him inside. <laughs> that's what she said. See, because that's that's a two R. That would have been a one D. <laughs> No, oh, Lona's getting surfed. <laughs> yeah, this seems this seems shit from Zahu. Unless like there's a lot of tagging going on. Breathe, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's the actual original prodigy song. Well, yeah. What else would it be? Well, some people thought it was with me, but it was actually Jimmy. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Didn't, yeah. Didn't you know that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good mates with Keith, weren't you, Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was alright, wasn't he? Yeah, top lad. A bit twisted, though. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he smacked your bitch up. <laughs> Not mine, but yeah, he, he does do it, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Fat Jesus Christ I've never seen Keith Flynn's butthole hair <laughs> Oh he's going to pom instead of surfing or, or do you mean Or do you mean his, oh, he's gonna surf anyway, his I guess. The head on his hair <laughs> Yeah obviously he puts the pom in case you're all pals didn't need the ulf to do it, did he? But like, it, the ulf made it harder to protect and stuff, didn't he? <laughs> it like oh yeah, face. sorry, yeah. I, I, I've, it was just my natural instinct because I've never rolled a power before in Blood Bowl. <laughs> like ah. so. Yep, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Now he can go through the centre though. Now he's weakened the centre for no mm. apparent reason. The centre is weakened, so attack is the centre. Come through the middle. Without the uh, whiz, it's uh, interesting. And like, Moomin's playing alright, to be fair. He just agrees, isn't he? Zahu hasn't come up with anything to get through. He doesn't even need to come through yet, though. That's the thing, isn't it? No, I'd, just, I'd, have a little chip. I'd have a little chip at him. No, I'd have a little bang. And then I'd pin him on the loner. And then I'd have another turn of sitting here. I'm coming sitting hard here. this turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you, Jim? <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would even think about dodging somebody through, like dodge the edge five through, right? Bl blitz the runner. Um, blitz this runner here, uh, up to there, and jam in all around here, and then I jam in. The edge five coming through. Even Hang around too much with that no good stop Sheffield geezer, isn't it? Yeah. Sheffield geezer. Sean B. Elliot, isn't it? Elliot, oh, it's Sheffield. Elliot, yeah. yeah, I mean that's what that's one of it that's an Elliot expression there. Yes. You said it, not me. <clears throat> no, you said it. Did I? Yeah, you said jam in. Well uh, yeah, jam in. How does uh, Bob Marley <laughs> like his donuts? <laughs> jam in. <laughs> <laughs> with jam in. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you ever if you ever given somebody a donut and said oh, I hope you like jam in too. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh wrestling down, well that sucks a bit, doesn't it? That's the only thing you regret in life, J5. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> I don't mean that as a personal insult, I just mean... <laughs> it's, uh, most people are riddled with regrets, aren't they? No, oh, it gets the catcher through. Yeah, I like putting somebody through. You regret zapping that cat. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I'm starting to regret this line of thought. <laughs> What I regret is those fucking time travelling aliens that came in with their fucking bees and then used my flowers to, <laughs> to fucking pollinate. Oh, disgusting. I, I don't really regret anything I've done. I just regret things that I haven't done. <laughs> Pretty much. But only because I got away with a lot of the things that I did. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. Unlike, unlike the uh, UFC fighter that uh, robbed five million quid and then got caught. Mm. Yeah, he just regrets getting caught not doing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, UFOs. I'm going to join right now, J5, while I remember. Join what? Reddit UFOs. The UFO Reddit. Where's the ball? You've tapped out, haven't you, Jim? I mean, maybe. Who can say? I'm 100% dedicated to this thrilling live match. Um, yeah. With Zah here with two and a half minutes left of his turn. Um, what's he doing? Oh, he's thinking. Um, what do you think about his thinking, Dim? Uh. Oh, he's doing something. Yeah, you can you can probably screen up this side. Oh, that's a bit sad. It's funny this, isn't it? Because Movement Slayer done pretty well, but then those two people behind his lines has made him basically abandon everything, and now there's acres of space. Acres. Spots. Yeah. Absolute acres. Hmm. I think that's it. Was maybe a mistake by Mo by Zahu to go that side. I think probably going the other side is better. I don't um, know. Well, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Because this, this, this down guy with uh, dodge, right? He can get up and over there, whereas over here he can't get anywhere. And there's kind of more free over here. This guy's free. These guys aren't free. So I would have preferred to go up this way. Personally. Yeah. Well, I'll, 
I'll, I'll tab back in, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no idea because I can't see the game. <laughs> yeah, I was, just, I was just talking about it. I was just reading about <laughs> UFOs. There's been a load of weird stuff about them recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lone dodges. You've got rerolls on all these things that you want to do. So, they're not, honestly, the, the best thing to do is just start with this Lorna reroll over here and then blitz this guy with this wrestle. But you really don't want to, you know, make your first move a Lorna dodge. But I guess you've got to. I, I guess that was the best play, was to start with his Lorna dodge up to here. Then he goes up, blitzes him, and then you've got these two and these two. Well, no, these two and these two to go through. And he's got the sideline cage, which is good enough, probably. <coughs> yeah, you've got wrestle, I guess. You could do the blitzes of 1D. Yeah, that's maybe okay. Problem is, though, when, when do you push him like to down to there? Yeah, and then you dodge off with the other one. Yeah, yeah maybe. Maybe cheer him, but the, the, by dodging him there, you get him in a good place as well, don't you? Which is quite good. There's pros and cons to every play, isn't there? Uh, there certainly is. Do you palm this guy and foul him and then stand in front of these? Maybe. See, now these two aren't really doing a whole lot, are they? Whereas it would have only been one you'd have abandoned over the other side. If, what's this, three, four, five there, and there's three, four, five there. So it's pretty, pretty equal positioning from the Norse point of view. He's doing alright for damage so far, though. Yeah. Better than all right, I'd say. Cause that was just a surf, wasn't it? Yeah. Gonna surf another one now if he wants. I think it's probably better to pawn the catcher and foul him, but he hasn't really got the players. No, he has got a dirty player there. There's a problem with fouling is always a positional cost. Well, yes. In this rule set, <laughs> uh, even with even with uh, even with sneaky get, it's still a, it's still a positional cost to it for sure. Yeah, less less so, I would say, because you can move them afterwards. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, but like also, and it's much more reliable in the fact that you don't get sent off as often, so mm -hmm. you can kind of start it earlier in the turn. But there is that positional cost. There's always a cost. Mm. Everything in Blood Bowl is a cost, right? Mm, Probably wow. more so with fouling. Yeah, wow indeed. Moomin Slayer needs to get to banging as quickly as possible. Mm. There's only real hope. Yeah, because each turn you can like make the most pressure or the most cover or what you think is the best combination of those. And if you're diverting people to foul, you're just not going to make the, the, the optimal configuration, are you? Like very rarely will a foul fall into what you think is optimal or, you know. Oh, it's weird, but I always consider fouls like as more of a like behind thing. Like if I'm behind, I'll foul more generally than I do if, if I think it's an even game. Depending yeah. on race, uh, racial matchups and stuff as well, I guess. But yeah, that's fair enough. Because you, you, you know, if you're behind, you gotta you gotta do something to get the win. 
yeah, the switching here is pretty good. The only bad thing about switching is having to rely again on a uh, on a loan to touch. I guess you do. You go to about here. Here. where you don't get your dancer here. Next for GFI though, so now it's a dodge and a GFI for him. Are you there in a jiffy? Yeah, uh, he's so done well. Just, maybe you just dodge to there. Is that enough? One, two, nah. three, well. four, five, six, seven, yeah, these are three, two, two. Yeah. That's not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI maybe. Then that is going to be another one. Oh, no, that's not enough. Double G. It's a lot. You don't really want to do a three, two. Nearly enough, isn't it? But this guy is a motherfucker. You can just leave him tagged, don't you? Well, the He's better one forward. GFI, GFI with this guy is probably the best play. GFI with that guy is probably the best. And then that makes it one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's the same. But by GFIing one, yeah, because this three is shit. I double wand it anyway. But if he's one forward, then he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he could have done that anyway. He could have just run all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Couldn't he? That that's what he needed to do. So just do two two pluses, but he rolled a double one anyway. But I think it might be enough. Like, right, what's he gonna do? He's gonna he's gonna go with a off isn't he? This guy. And go through. Oh, the rest or the rackle. Yeah, he can but you do, do you do the GFI to make it two dice? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. GFI for. And I'll then you need to tag. Point. Who's he going to tag with the. Uh... Oh, what? I don't know. What yeah, I would have uh... probably dodged and then gone with a rackle. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3 2 2 for the rackle. This is like 2 2 for one hit without. Wrestle without wrestle or tackle. I think it was worth the three two two for the two D. But then how's he recover it? Like he could just sack him and then the Woodies just pick it up and score anyway. Yeah, you still gotta try though, haven't you? Well I guess it's last turn isn't it, so if they roll a one. Mm. I'd be pretty happy well. with this lot. You can sidestep to the left, I guess. Oh it's for the GFR. Oh, wrestle would have done. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how how much better it was giving giving him wrestle and tackle. Like makes it a seventy five percent knockdown instead of a thirty percent. But it does add a four plus on the way, doesn't it? So a three plus on the way. So it's probably better because that kind of comes out with fifty, doesn't it? It's hard though. Yeah. But there's like surely there's more recovery. Well, there's no recovery either way, is there? No, not there. really. No, whatever happens, he's pretty much fucked. So what's he doing? Dodging and blitzing. So yeah, bomber? I guess actually the lack of recovery makes the both down with wrestle less appealing anyway, doesn't it? So. But it's turn eight, so if he fails to pick up, then at least. I was gonna, I was gonna do some wizarding after this, but I'm, I'm going to bed instead. <laughs> Are you enjoying it, like Harry Potter and that, or not really? I'm, I'm enjoying doing the forward rolls and jumping. <laughs> How can you not, mate? <laughs> you haven't lived until you've done forward rolls, man. <laughs> that is literally, that is literally the highlight. Honestly, the jumping up and down on the spot and the forward rolls. 
are the best paths. You're not really getting into the like the quests and that. Are they are they a bit mundane or? Yeah, very mundane. I would say. That's the thing, though, isn't it? Once you play like one game, that's brilliant. It's like that's what I found with like uh, Grand Theft Auto. Like, love Grand Theft Auto Three, love Grand Th uh, like Vice City, San Andreas, and then by the time the next one came out, I was like, I've done this. I've played mm. this. So. Drive here, shoot it. something. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is what every mission is. Exactly, yeah. And it, it's never going to be. Obviously, the online thing mixed it up, but I was bored of it by then. Mm. Oh, he leapt. Damage. Mm, interesting. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you know, if you're a fan, if you're a fan of Potter, then obviously all the details are going to be more. More exciting, aren't they? Whereas if you don't know any of it, you're just like, don't really care that there's portraits that move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Michelle was like, oh, get it, get it, it looks amazing. I'm like, I, I couldn't care less. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I, I don't care for Harry Potter at all. Yeah, the, fight, the fight's kind of... If I could control it more... <laughs> like, if I was better, I would enjoy it more. But yeah, the fighting's kind of cool, to be fair. It's made me think of wizards as less lame, honestly. I always, like, kind of hated wizards, you know, like, in fantasy settings. I just always thought of them as, like, lame and stupid and liked Conan and stuff <laughs> and then I don't know so yeah so I do like it a bit more so that's in, that's interesting super interesting super interesting Jim mm. you gotta keep talking about wizards for another two hours yet mate <laughs> mm. everything went smooth for me instantly uh, I just went with their recommended settings. Haven't had any problems. No, the control, not performance. No. Nope. All right. Well, I'll copy paste that then. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, huge. What is this turn eight? <clears throat> yeah, maybe I'll enjoy it more as it goes on, but like, it's, you know. I didn't. I didn't do any work at school. I don't want to do any work at magic school. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing is, is like, did the people who were watching it enjoy it? That's the thing, isn't it? Well, no. The most important thing is if I enjoy it. <laughs> nah, no one cares if you enjoy it or not. No. You don't enjoy Blood Bowl. Everyone loves watching you play Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck everyone else. The assholes. They make me play Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played Skyrim, believe it or not. Skyrim's glorious. Mm. But then, like, to be fair, it's really dated now. Like, mm. it's not like... When I watch Skyrim now, it doesn't feel like what it felt like. And, like, I was a mad Oblivion fan as well. And Oblivion was, like, the, the like, predecessor. Uh. And, um, like, I loved that game. Like, so much. Yeah, I never played that. I never played Skyrim. I, like I played all the GTAs and Red Dead. Well, Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption Two. I've enjoyed those two. Bully. Yeah, uh, if only you stream Red Dead Two, that would have been pretty fun. I did stream it. Well, I, I mean, I didn't really know you when you did. <laughs> I did stream it, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got to do the last of us. No, I barely so. streamed it because I, I did the. Uh, I did. I did it off stream. Yeah, I did it off stream. What, Red Dead? Mm. I don't remember you. I don't ever remember you streaming Red Dead. Yeah, I did most of it off stream, I think. I think it was hard to stream the st single player. I'd definitely stream some multiplayer. 
But I think the single player either. I played it on my TV, I remember. Oh, I think it was before. It might have been before I got the TV. Maybe it was before I got my new PC. No, because I was playing it on the PC, dickhead. I was thinking I was playing on the Xbox. Maybe it's I dickhead. was playing on Xbox. Dickhead. No, I was. I was playing on Xbox. That's right. I played it on my Xbox. Yeah, I played it on my Xbox. <laughs> Someone's got to post the Xbox link, no? <laughs> oh no, I play, I play on Xbox! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's correct. I did play it on Xbox, and so I didn't stream. I didn't stream, so maybe I even played it before I had a PC here. When I first, yeah, when I first popped into your stream, you were playing the old Grand Theft Auto, like, online. Yeah. And you're just going, cackling like a madman. Doing weird shit. Yep. Clever use of Juggernaut on the wrestler. Mm. I mean, I'm, you can tell because we're paying attention. <laughs> you getting Starfield? I thought Starfield was supposed to come out in November. I'm guessing it, they meant November 23 instead of November 22. Maybe I just. Yeah. Oh, this year, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the thing, physics. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I like Bully. I liked. I like GTA. I like Red Dead. So, like, they're the same kind of things, aren't they? Except they're all made by Rockstar. But I don't know that I've played any other games like them. I think I've just played the Rockstar ones. Oh, Saints Row. Saints Row Two. I enjoyed that. Which is just like GTA, isn't it? It's basically the same game. Yeah. This is GTA, except instead of civilians, you kill cats. <laughs> and instead of a car, you've got a broomstick. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's like GTA, isn't it? You can't kill them, but I certainly... Hit them with lots of spells. <laughs> Throwing the one in the in the lake was brilliant. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? The old eye cage. Uh, it's uh, when you mean interesting, like are you. Mainly risky or? Very risky. This is an easy team split, isn't it? Artemis would love this, uh, getting his whole team split by one war dancer. Uh, yep. Yeah. This is a. Uh, I mean, he's like, you. he's kind of like, I can, I can relate to it though, because he's committed to the banging because the banging is the only way he wins the game. But yes, like the eye cages, like cluster. Is there, what skills is on that runner? Is the runner? Does the runner start with do the runner doesn't start with dodge, does it? Uh, no, it gets dodged pretty quickly, so this one's got dodge. Oh right, okay. I just couldn't see the skill on the screen. Yeah, yeah, this this one's got. So dodge. it's the dodge, other one right? It's dodge. Yeah, the other the one, one that's got the ball hasn't. Oh yeah, right, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, which is more of a concern. But then he's got he's got a tackle strip. He's got anyway, a strip so ball anyway. What's yeah. What's it fucking matter? <laughs> he's got the ball. <laughs> It's pretty fucked, isn't it? It's it pretty it? fucked. That's the thing. If you got a crap Woody team, like it can still do things. You got a crap Norse team. Not even that crap of Norse team, to be fair. No, it's got no, a couple no. of pommers. And... Yeah, two tackle pommers. It's a pretty great Norse team for beating Woodies as long as you can kill enough of them and then not lose the ball. But but the mm. Dakar is just so strong, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm not sure this is. I mean, I'm, well, I actually, I'm sure this is a bad idea because he could have hit the he could have hit the LOS and then had like you know held the space here. You want to hold this space so that they can't put the whole team here. The worst thing for you is they're putting the whole team here, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Not what I would have done, but who can no. say if it's good or bad? Like Nick would have been all over that. Hmm. Or anyone. <laughs> yeah, anyone with a brain, yeah. <laughs> I 
I just meant like he would have done it already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I meant. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, tabbing out is an option. <laughs> I'm chopping garlic, mate. <laughs> I'm well tabbed out. <laughs> <laughs> We only have to wait 30 minutes around. What's better than watching people think, honestly? This is peak blood bowl. And, like, not even knowing what they're thinking, either. Hmm. Like. Well, we can, uh... Do you know what is better, Jim? What, then? Not even seeing the game at all, because there's no way of watching it. So, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Just guessing what happened, using your imagination. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, the cup casts in Bubble look, 3 looking are at be the result. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just look at the result and imagine what how the game went. Just, uh, oh, I reckon he uh, used the wizard and it went really well. No, no, I reckon he uh, scored a one-turner. <laughs> no, no, I reckon he got a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can come up with all the most interesting things to have ever happened. Yeah, we can just guess. Games. We can just guess uh, how they won the game. Mm, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the old GFI snake into the end zone <laughs> diced again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I reckon he fouled with his guard player and uh, he got sent off. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Nobody would ever do no, that. No, you? yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, he went a bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> no one would do that. <laughs> I reckon that this match, uh, these Wood Elves versus these Vampires, are they? Looks like they lost 2 1 after extra time. I reckon the way they lost was because they had a 2 1 win and they just literally didn't score on turn 8 for no apparent reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that would never happen, Jimmy. That, I mean, I mean, that like, would never happen. I, I, I think we need to uh, rein it in a bit, like at least make it believable, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sorry for that one. I reckon he conceded turn three. <laughs> In the final. I reckon he just conceded turn three. Yeah, fuck this. Yeah. Wouldn't even get a ban, would he now? <laughs> he wouldn't know. <laughs> you wouldn't even oh, know. Wouldn't even know. Wow, oh, no, it does big, tell you. You can see. Big Pom. No apple. Huge. Huge oh, pom. No, that was the old, yeah, the elves have used their apple, so now they're down to six players. Wow, rain dude, with the hard flame. <coughs> wow. How dare you? Oh he sent me the link. Oh I'll have a look at that actually. So we're gonna jump in for the one D now? And see what happens. There must be a way of seeing the replay. Like, I just don't understand how there's not a way of seeing the replay. If they keep the stats, like if they record the stats. Might not record the stats. Yeah, he goes there, doesn't he? And then he goes one, two, three. And not one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one D gets the strip, whatever. This guy go or this guy or this guy, one of them goes and picks it up, gets it to him who scores. Surely. No, he's just he's just wasting him hitting a bodger. Amazing. Uh, amazing. I think the funniest thing that we can take from this is like someone said to Moomin Slayer, like, why don't you just play a proper team instead of Ogres? And then like he was like, All right then I will and then he played Norse and then whoever <laughs> suggested it was like, I didn't mean like that That's <laughs> 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 not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> why did it have to be Norse? <laughs> Oh, so this hit means he doesn't have to do the two plus with uh, without touch, but it just makes the recovery so much harder. Like that's the problem, isn't it? Because that that was the guy that could have re re recovered it. Now he's got to recover with one of the other catchers, recover with one catcher and give it the other. Follow is risky for uh, getting surfed, isn't it? Actually. Mm. 
You like garlic, Jim? Yeah, I do actually, Jim. Love a bit Good. of garlic. Yeah, I do as well. Mate. Oh, oh yeah. I wonder if the players just like dodge this one off downfield with dodge, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down there, and then uh, and then go in there and love it too. But now he's gone with this one. Okay, this is probably the normal way of doing it, isn't it? Can you just start and pass from where you are? Because it saves the dodge off and the GFI. Yeah, it does. But it is a 4 plus. Gets it. Oh, Bubba! Ooh. Is it GG? Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it goes 2 GFI. No, it's 1 GFI in a dodge. What? Can't he just go the other way? Oh yeah, you can just go the other way. <laughs> In my head, he was here. <laughs> In my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jim. You can be my wingman I'm tired, Dim. Hello, Nelisius. Thank you very much for the raid. Absolutely glorious. Ahoy, Nelisius. Someone <laughs> told me that uh, Frosthaven wasn't even out yet. How are you playing Frosthaven? Just quietly. He's coming. Unless it's like been released in Holland early. Holland. The Netherlands. Holland. Actually, is what yeah. you've got to say. Do you really believe everything people tell you? Uh, not you, Red Hair, specifically. But. If, if somebody told me that there were man eating banana spiders and, and so therefore the British people keep all the bananas in cages, I would definitely believe them 100%. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Fulgus. Frosthaven. I don't know what Frosthaven is. Apparently it's a sequel to Gloomhaven. Ah. And will that be getting a, uh, a video game as well? Hopefully. Ah. Frosthaven. Oh, he's going in. 2022. Game on. He's got. He's got. He's in there. If he scores next turn, it's unlikely, but like, you know. Mm. Is it? It's like own universe, or is it like Games Workshop or D and D or something? No, it's nothing to do with Games Workshop. I don't. I don't think. Like, I looked at the models. I looked at the board game, and they're like different miniatures. The miniatures aren't actually as good as Games Workshop, in my opinion. Mm. Obviously, just an opinion. Don't hate on me. Mm. Um, well, the enemies are cardboard. That's like one thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're not actually miniatures. Yeah, it's its own universe. Pretty cool, Jim, mate. To be honest, like mm. I actually looked at the board game. The board game is like 130 quid as well, which is a bit off-putting. But... Most off-putting thing, though, is you know the best thing about play. Boomhaven, Jim. What? Is you can play it one player. Yep, you can play it on your own. Game. Yeah. You don't need friends. Oh, thank yeah. God. And I haven't got any, so you know. <laughs> yeah. Happy days. Yeah. They literally designed Gloomhaven for me. <laughs> <laughs> no friends, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> And, it, and the AI is actually better than uh, most AIs in some computer games. Yeah, the AI would probably be better than my real life friends. <laughs> That's mad though, isn't it? Like designing a board game like that has an AI like to it as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah. A, I I, I, I've got the XCOM board game. 
Yeah. I'd well, love to make... Oh, is XCOM actually a board game? Or did they make the board game after they made XCOM? They what? made the board game after they made XCOM. Ah, uh, I see. And I they, see. Like, there's an app for it, and uh, you like play it with your friends, and the app tells you like the, uh, the the movements and stuff to make for the for the baddies. Oh, so it's not even cards, it's just an app. That's even better, to be fair, because mm. then you like don't get the whole, like, you didn't shuffle the deck. Like, meh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like you roll dice and shit, I think. But like the the, the app says. Yeah, like, but I'd rather but... roll a dice because mm-hmm. like it's me rolling it. Do you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. not. And then so like the app will say like th- things like you know like put three UFOs above Brazil or whatever. You know, but like if it's a deck of cards, you can go. Well, I don't fucking like that card. Oh, there is a, there is a deck of cards. There is a deck of cards. Yeah, because you like you put the cards face down or whatever. Now that I'm thinking about it. You like you put the cards face down and then you do a mission. And then you turn over the cars to see what's there and stuff. Yeah, I remember that now. Been a while since I played it. Because who did you play with, or can you play it single player? My friends. I think. Oh, you you actually. You can play it single player. Yeah. I played it with my friends. Shocking, I know. Shocking. I play Curse City by myself. That's when you know you're a proper loser. You're not a loser, Dimmy. You're a winner. You're the champ. I wish I was you, Dimmy. I just wish I had mates who played board games with me. Mm. Like, not online, like in real life. Mm. And I didn't have to travel half the country to <laughs> meet people who were like, oh god, it's you. Well, you score. It's 2-1. There's a chance. There's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. Never Please Randy. don't go to overtime because my dinner, mate. Oh, my God. <laughs> never, Randy. Never doing time. Why am I even here? <laughs> <laughs> the same question a hundred people in chat are asking themselves right now. <laughs> if only you lived in Detroit, Demi. Yeah, but, I mean, I've heard Detroit's pretty rough. Yeah, it's super rough. You'd have been shot. <laughs> <laughs> we could have played anyway. I would have had salsa that I don't even like. <laughs> <laughs> and Moradam would actually realise that I'm a horrible human being and he doesn't want to be my friend. Why would you say that, Dimmy? It's probably true. No, it's not. The loveliest man in Blood Bowl is Dimmy G. Aww, Jim. <laughs> I'll probably go around more of and be like, oh, he's a right wrong and Jim. Can't believe we're around for a ball game with that nutter. <laughs> he kept offering me salsa. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to bite my balls. That <laughs> <laughs> means I know that's true, yeah. What a legend. What a legend. That's the worst thing about the internet as well. Is it's like here's what you could have won. Like you had a, you could have had a group of people that were all like minded and played like stupid games with each other. But no, they're all American or Australian or Brazilian or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like no, you have to. No, you're such a small. No, there's so many people who do want to play board games and stuff, but mm. none of them are in your county. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. And then, like, the ones that, like, if you go to... Like, that's the thing I think about people as well, is, like... Like, the people who, like, like YouTube videos are, like... I've, like, I've rarely liked to... I've done it to help a mate out or whatever, but, like... I don't really like... And, I probably should like and subscribe a lot more. But I just... Do you know what I mean? I can't be bothered. <laughs> like, or just like, and then you, like, and then you have to be a certain type of person to actually do that in the first place. Like, and then if you if you're the sort of person who does that sort of thing, you're probably not my kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. it's like it's just like one thing leads to another, and then it's just uh, 
Yeah, that's the that's the thing, you know. Like, but it's funny because you enjoyed the TT, didn't you? You know. Whereas, yeah, I like. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed the TT. I did enjoy yeah, the TT. Whereas generally, I thought when I discovered Fumble, I'm like, oh my god, this is fantastic. I don't. Well, I enjoyed the TT because I went with Hancock and Necronome and PC. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I didn't go like solo, and then the second time I went, like, um, what's his name? Uh, What's his name? Calcium Kaz was there, and like me and him just hit it off. And then, uh, like he, when he left, I, I went out with a couple of other guys who were like, like, like normal like guys. You know what I mean? Well, like what I would say are normal guys, <laughs> which ninety five percent of the public would say were absolutely mental, <laughs> <laughs> insane. And then, uh, uh, yeah, so. And then I'm meeting up with Cock and stuff like uh, the weekends. Mm. So it's yeah. It's just a shame I have to travel 100 miles and spend 300 quid to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I I, I envy the groups that have like their like little mates that they yeah, go and do sick, stuff. With. Yeah, sick, just like well. every Friday night we all get round, eat a pizza or whatever, and. Yeah, if we, could, if we could do five idiots in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be sick, wouldn't it? And I don't think people who can do that and get on with their group like that will really realise how lucky they are, you know. Mm. You know, it's funny, there was like, you know, there's three or four of us who generally played like Games Workshop things and magic and stuff, and I guess we were pretty lucky to have that little... That Mate, the funny thing is, like, if we live like next door to each other, like, there's no way I'd play you at Blood Bowl and Tabletop. That's the <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. We didn't. That's the thing. Yeah, we, didn't yeah, that, we no. probably wouldn't. We like, just went yeah. to tournaments together. We didn't. We didn't like. We didn't uh, play regular or anything. No, absolutely not. We pretty much only played when I made the fucking cardboard things. And we had, like, I, I would turn games. up with Hero Clicks for the first game just quietly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like Jazz, Jazzy Jeff getting thrown out of the press <laughs> <Prince> of <Bellas. laughs> Oh, man. That would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, the Swarm Lord is my Ratto guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and these four Lego guys are my blitzers. <laughs> and I've just drawn on circles on bits of paper for my linemen. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great to have all different things as you, as your things. Like some, <laughs> some hero clicks things as things and that'd be brilliant. Wow, that's amazing, Moradan. I want a pen and paper for it. Mm. See, <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it that much, but yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit much, that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a bit too much. You should, honestly, you should seriously consider like streaming it. Really? Like... What, what, what should happen is, um, we, Elliot, you, me, and uh, Daedal... <laughs> <laughs> One Jack of us wins the lottery. Should all we, move to uh, Leeds. <laughs> yeah, not Leeds. Fucking hell, yeah, Leeds. Leeds is oh. pretty great, man. Leeds is the best. We could all go to Sweden, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't mind living in Sweden. Yeah. I, I reckon Alfie would have a pretty good education out there as well. Yeah, Sweden seems pretty good for everyone. My boss at work is uh, moving to Yorkshire, actually, in like mm -hmm. nine months' time. Which means that, like, my job, I don't have to live anywhere, if that makes sense. I can do it yeah. wherever I am. Apparently, I'm not allowed to do it abroad, though. I'm, I have to be in England. So I'm not allowed to do it abroad. Just, just lie. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, because they, they, they can tell because of the VPN and something. Like, apparently, if you ask for permission, um, you can do it for, like, a month, like, maximum. But after that, like, no, you'll get fired. <laughs> All's based, it's GG. Mm. Please don't go to overtime. <laughs> no, <laughs> please, 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 overtime. please release me. Yorkshire is practically Sweden. Well, it's probably full of Swedish people, or like at least uh, what are they call Baltic. Mm, Balticlers. 
Mate, I'd love to play board games with Kanor. I think Kanor's really cool. Kanor's like one of my favourite streamers, to be fair. Mm. I really like him. He's got like a really analytical way of... Like, Surfing he's guy, how I would be if I was sober. Like, he's... <laughs> 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 surf this like, guy, right? Do you, do you, do you yeah. surf this guy, Dim? Go, uh, there, blitz him, push him into him, sidestep to here, block him. Uh, well, he blocks, I guess, to there. And then oh yeah, I like the play. Yeah. I like the play. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't right. even need the assist. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then, yeah, yeah, and then you got the lino on the left to like cover it up as well. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, strength four tackles got to go. Oh, he doesn't need the assist. Oh, oh. What the fuck is that? He's not surfing him. Oh, okay, good. Dub Skull would have made that surf a lot scarier anyway. Yeah. Yeah, That's like, you know, when you're like, oh, I've got a great plan, and then, like, you mm -hmm. roll the dice, and you're like, abort! <laughs> abort! <laughs> abort! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, his catch is going to get spanked, though, isn't he? Mm. He's got to put the guard in, isn't he? Um, oh, he needs to run back two squares. Yeah, yeah. I think he was and thinking then... about going over, like, to the middle. He might go back to the middle. Because then it's harder for him to like squeeze him down. Like you know, if he goes in the car, I think he. Makes yeah, because otherwise that guy on the right in front of him is getting surfed. Yeah. Yeah, strength or tackle is like such a good player to surf. I think he should have gone for it. Brexit refugees here now in Sweden. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't surprise me, to be fair. No, exactly. Yeah. It's a better way of living, mate. Like, apart yeah. from the weather, like, it's probably... Yeah, Sweden's pretty cool. I think all the Nordic countries have got it better than England's. Yeah. And, like, for, like, the last ten years as well. Like, not even... I mean, before Brexit, like, honestly. yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I'd have to go there and see it and stuff. Yeah, it sure but... seems like it, though, yeah. From, like, from I mean, like, uh, yeah. Like, like England's stuff. rough as arseholes, really. Isn't like, just, yeah. yeah. Like, mate, when I went to Derby, I was just like, this is hell. Like, this <laughs> is, like, this is awful. This is an awful place. Yeah. And yet, they, like, there's there's certain reasons it's not, you know. Oh, yeah! And I, I, oh, I thought God. I was from a rough place, do you know what I mean? I, I mean, it's not rough, oh, it's just yeah. not very nice. Like, it's just, yeah. There's nothing there that's... Like, I would find myself getting upset. That's the north, isn't it? That's Living there. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not much up north. It's grim up north, isn't it? That's the same. It, mate, it was. It was certainly grim. Yorkshire was alright. Like I didn't like this. I liked one up here, and then because then you can put them both onto him, right? Like that was way better. I thought living in the system from here. Yeah. And see what you get from not assisting with him. And this guy calls one up. Sure. Yeah, because now that tackle and guard is free. Yeah. Um, and like you could have just pushed him to here if it was a push. So. Mm. It's quite tense. It might go to overtime. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> save me, Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> you can save yourself, Dim. You can save. <laughs> no, yourself. I will not leave you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Never leave a man behind. What a legend! <laughs> I can't leave you. <laughs> it's like the first rule of the SOS, on it. <laughs> SOS. <laughs> <laughs> That one gets left behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Tony Adams on on uh, Strictly is pretty hilarious. Are you watching it now? Are you, you savage? <laughs> That's me helping you out, and you're just watching Tony Adams and Strictly come to us. Well, I'm more watching God. Katya Jones, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did the full Monty. He fucking, you know, his shirt off and everything. Old no way. Yeah. That's not the full Monty, Jim. I know, no, they're like, they're doing, quietly. they're dancing to Hot Stuff, oh, right? and they're uh, doing, like, you know, he's dressed up like a policeman from the full Monty. He oh, my God. He didn't do the full Monty. 
You're showing your age there, mate, watching Strictly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know what I'm going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight, dude? I'm going to watch YouTube videos of people playing Pathfinder or the board game. Because <laughs> I want to see what it's like. Yeah. Okay. That's how sad I am. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to see it, Dim. I'm glad you yeah. <laughs> I just want to see what it's like. I just want to see what it's like. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Oh, Pathfinder the board game. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> Plow his wife. <laughs> Did I say Pathfinder? I meant Gloomhaven. Sorry, I actually meant Gloomhaven. Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I want to watch like uh, someone play Gloomhaven. Mm. Honestly, I'm like the, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like the cheating Pathfinder like <laughs> meme. <laughs> Yeah, fight so far. I've been playing the uh, game, mate. I've been playing the game. It's really good. Cool. It's really good. Really, really good, I think. But really it's not nice. Would you say, Dan? I would say really nice. 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 <laughs> <laughs> This is pretty good, actually, from uh, Zahu, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. You mentioned a mill some wild, so... Peace. <laughs> I don't know if he had an extra move up one that he could have done, because if he could, he should have. So slight, slight misposition mis if these could have both got one. <laughs> what? <laughs> a a slight, slight what? A slight misposition. <laughs> mish money penny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mish money penny. Yes. A, sh a slight misposition here. <laughs> he doesn't even need this one. Does he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, two to hit him. One D. I'll allow it. I'll, I wouldn't re-roll. Really yeah, I like that. So in that case, not going one forward is good now because you cannot you can afford to fail this. So in that case, maybe he could have gone one back from where he is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe he could have gone one back. Everyone could have been one back, and then he wouldn't have needed that at all. So this is pretty nice. All I can say, Jim, is obviously these two guys have already had dinner. <laughs> 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 Milfs and a wild soul of his. Yeah, we've been denied our Milf manor. I might miss it now as well if I go to sleep after this game. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you gotta stay awake. Yeah. You've got to wait. stay awake for the Milfs. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, but I know it's true. As well. <laughs> it is true, yeah. Mills Man is a great show to watch with people taking the piss out of it. It's uh, it's not a great show to watch on your own, seriously. Yeah, but you seriously wish you were on it. That's the thing, isn't it? No, 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 no. I did not seriously wish I was on it. Oh well, yeah, not with your mum, obviously. But I mean, yeah, like, exactly. As... <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dread it. They had things like they had secrets that you hadn't told, them like you know the the other ones and stuff. And like they came out with all these fucking things, like gangbangs and stuff. And it's like, oh my god, I do not, I do not need to know what my mum's done. <laughs> uh, I've never been happier that my mum's actually passed away. <laughs> I don't want to know that shit. <laughs> no. Yeah, the tackle mighty blow would have been a three two two, whereas this was just the two two. The three two two two. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, I banged your best mate. <laughs> I wonder how many people have like are married and that's the case, and they just don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon it's very high as well. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. God, 
Well, this is looking pretty shit for Moomin Slayer because he's yeah he's it's losing two one as well. Yeah, I mean, don't say it's yeah. over, but it's yeah, pretty it's close over. to over. These two dodges, you know, very reliable. And it's just this, so you just dodge blitz, don't you? And then you sideline cage, and then get these in. So, yeah. I mean, to the untrained eye, like most people would say this was over. Elliot wouldn't, because there's like a point zero 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 one percent chance. That well, like, yeah, over. yeah, it's not like completely statistically over, but but nobody says it's over because it's statistically over, or you know, full time. You know, full time people, the commentators don't go, oh, this is over now. <laughs> <laughs> they say this is over now when fucking Germany are, you know scored the sixth one when, when when Germany scored the sixth one against Brazil they say oh this is over now or when they scored the fifth one probably they say it's over and then they get two more don't they afterwards oh Brazil yeah it was 5-1 at half time was it or something mm, yeah something like that yeah I mean, they do, they do that. They did do that, obviously. It, it was 5-1. They were like, well, this is over, isn't it? And like, everyone knew it was over because it's fucking 5-1. Oh, mate, they might have said it was over when AC Milan played Liverpool in the Champions League final and it was 3-0 yeah, at half-time. Exactly, time. yeah. They might have done. And then Eddie Odd was in the crowd going, don't say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or when Man United were losing 2 0 with like about. No, oh, two, like two, two minutes. Yeah, yeah. They're losing uh, two they, no, they won 2 1 against Bayern Munich. Yeah, they're losing in, 1 0. Yeah, losing 1 0. That was 1999, the year they went. That was that was 24 years ago, Jim. Fuck me. I know. I can remember it Te like that, it was Teddy yesterday. Sheringham. Teddy Sheringham looks about 80 years old in that game <laughs> as well. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he's. He's still not even 80. And Solskjaer came on, didn't he? And then they scored. And I had bet on on Man United winning it overall, but I thought I'd bet on them winning it in ninety minutes, right? So, so like I thought I, I tried to bet on them winning it overall. And then the way I read the sheet, I thought I'd bet on them winning it in twenty in ninety minutes. So I was like, oh my god, this is the the worst timeline. They're gonna win, and then I'm still not gonna and I'm gonna lose my bet. And then you know, so then I was actually super happy that they won in ninety minutes. And then, uh, and then I didn't get the payout that I thought I'd got because I hadn't bet on <laughs> ninety minutes, so it was terrible. So I'd actually, oh man, I'd falsely celebrated a Man United win. I was good. Use the Man United fan for five minutes. No, it was the final holy bone. It wasn't. It wasn't at you. It was. I mean, they might have. They might have done that as well. But I'm sure it was. Yeah, as as Demi said, like Bayern or whatever, or Dortmund. One of them. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure it was a German team, wasn't it? Was it Bayern? Yeah, it was Bayern Munchen. Yeah. Don't say it's over. Yeah, we do. We need a strong as fuck as well, but I haven't, I haven't done it yet. Oh. Mate, imagine being a Bayern Munich fan, mate. How bad that would it be? <laughs> yeah, be unbelievable. Imagine, imagine taking your son to his first ever football game. You saved up, you spent a grand or whatever, or like, to take your son to his first ever football game, the Bayern Munich final, and then... <laughs> <laughs> like, there's got to be someone out there who's done that, do you know yeah, what I mean? You'd be like, celebrating like, that you'd won, and then you'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe it's going to overtime. Uh, <laughs> and then you, and you wake up the next morning and your son's a Man United fan. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, oh, thank over. god for that. Yeah. Right, um, well that match is now over. Commiserations to Moomin Slayer, congratulations to Zahu. Uh, yeah, commiserations to Moomin Slayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't... And he actually had a pretty decent team as well, wasn't it? it was just yeah, it was, a, it was a decent North State, horrible draw. Like. Mm. I mean, there's not many good draws for North State, really. No, there's Amazon, not. Yeah. Amazons. Oh, yeah, they got Amazons oh. in the first round, didn't they? And this was a decent oh, match they... for them, apart from that dancer. That dancer is just a badass, isn't he? And uh, that was pretty much all they had. And they, they had the one turn, you know, the one turn he leapt in and he got it. And that was it. GG, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, disgusting. I hate Woodies. Yep, not a lot you could do, but you know, did the right thing, Zahu, so congrats to him. Thank you very much, Dimmy, being glorious having you in the booth today. I'm so hungry, Jim. <laughs>
Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay lamtastic.